Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us today. We have Karen and Marina on Zoom. We have probably a whole bunch of people around the world watching on Instagram and Facebook. So welcome to Monday, Collab will Fit at Home. Today, we have Coach Carlos who's going to do the workout today. Hello, Carlos. How are you feeling today, Ooh, sir? Good. Everything was good? Yes. A lot of sitting. A lot of sitting, all the scones that you're eating. Scones. Scones that you're eating. Karen, Marina, how are you guys doing at home? Good? Everybody's good? Rita's good? Karen's Serena good. is on Instagram. Hi, Karen, Serena. Karen's outside in the vitamin D. I love it. Oh, yeah, Wednesday's supposed to be like in the 80s. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's going to be a Out, hot one. Outdoor workouts. Outdoor workouts. Oh, inside. Stay inside. inside. <laughs> Social distancing. Um, a couple of housekeeping things. As we always say, just keep it up. Don't touch anybody. Stay inside if you can. Um, don't touch anything. Don't touch anybody. Stay away from your loved ones, not um, Just stay, stay safe out there, everybody. All right. Turning off. Without further ado, right you ladies are ready to work out, so let's get right into the workout today. We have a little bit of a warm up, a three round warm up. It's about 10 minutes, so three rounds or 10 minutes, whichever gets there first. And then we'll transition into a Tabata hollow, hollow body hold and an arch body hold. Some of you remember that from when we were in the gym. So. I will not let that go, and Carlos is going to do it today. To One second, guys. And then we're going to do a five-round workout that I'll explain a little bit later. Now let's get set up for the warm-up. The warm-up today is three rounds. You're going to do 30 double-unders, or you're going to do 30 jumpy jacks. Standard jumpy jacks, just back and forth. Super simple. Okay. 30 reps. Jumping squats. So Carlos demonstrate that jumping squat. He's going to squat down and he's going to use the legs to drive up. And all you have to do is jump off the ground a little bit. The higher you get, the more you might get warmed up. But only as long as you feel comfortable or as high as you feel comfortable. When you land on the ground, try not to land on your toes or on just your heel. Try to land flat footed. Right? So Carlos is going to do that again. Jump. Jump. Yep. Yeah. Soft landing back into that squat, you're going to do 10 squat jumps, okay? Once you're done with that, you're going to have your dumbbell or whatever you're going to use for today's weight. If you don't have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you can just use your arm. We're just going to do a dip and a press. Dip and press. Carlos is going to demonstrate that now for the warm-up. You're going to do a dip and a press. Straight arm locked out. Sorry guys, I was having some technical fears. difficulties on IG today. Also on the front, the front, if you'll notice that Carlos' elbow, when he comes down, is pointed in that front rack position, not winged out all the way to the side. So keep that in that front rack position, dipping about two to three inches, driving with your legs up, and catching it over there. Okay? That is the warm up. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, good. <laughs> I give you guys enough time to answer. You guys good? At home, Rena, Karen, you guys good? Alright, so I'm going to start the clock here. It's going to be a 10 minute. I'm actually just going to have it run up 10 minutes. So it's going to be three rounds or a 10 minute count. So get as far as you can in this in 10 minutes. We are going to start this. Seconds. Ready, Carlos? Ready. Three, two, and go. Carlos is going to do the jumping jacks. He's going to do 30 nice and controlled jumping jacks. His hands, his hands closed as his feet open in each one of those reps. Marina is doing double unders. Karen is doing jumping jacks. Nice work. Once you're done with 30 of these, you're going to transition into the 10 jumping squats. Each arm 
push press. We have a lot of arms in today's workout. I want to make sure that the arm shoulders are ready to go. Nice Carlos. Good dip. Let's make sure that that chest doesn't drive forward. He's dipping down. His knees are driving out. Driving straight up. Nice one. Again, or you can do jump ropes however you want to do it. This is three rounds in that time frame. If you get done within the 10 minutes, cool. You can wait until everybody's done and then we'll move on. If you want to make this a little bit more fun, you can do the front jumping jacks too. You don't have to stay the same. You can do the front just like Carlos is doing. You can move his hands forward this way too. There you go. And use your laces. Around, go around in a circle, hold on to one, however you want to do it. Rena's on her jumping squats, nice work. Karen's on her jumping squats. You at home, I'm sure, are jumping on your squats, sitting at your desk watching. <laughs> I challenge you guys to get up and do 10 of these real quick. If you're sitting on your couch and just watching, go ahead and get up and do 10 of these. Send me a picture. See if you did it. There you go. Double dog dare you. Oh, that was a little bit of 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 a little bit a little bit the warm up has a 10 minute cap. <laughs> I just want to make sure because, like, when I, I think I did a warm up on Friday that was like, like 20 minutes long or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly where I wanted this to be. On Facebook, until your head gets chopped off. Right there, I can't see your nose or your eyes. Right there, I can see your whole. Serena just said no. What's the no for, Serena? Serena so said no, she's not going to do the challenge. Oh, maybe. Oh, I, <laughs> I know if Mark was right there, he'd do the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> so right there, I can still see everything. Right there, you can actually take like one more step forward. But stand up. Stand up there. Yes. yes. <laughs> X marks the standing spot for you too, so my head doesn't get chopped off. Hey, Rena's going for us. Rena's just round three, right? You're done with the warm up? So it's three rounds over 10 minutes. So you guys, five minutes. So, so, so this is going to be a lot less. No, no, you're good. Three rounds or, or a 10 minute cap. So I, I, I kind of overestimated the time cap. So we'll adjust that for later on tonight. All right. 
Looks like you guys are both done. Nice work. How do you guys feel? Good? Warmed up? Alright. So I'm gonna set up the I'm gonna set up the clock. So this is gonna be a tabata. This is gonna be a six minute, five minute, almost got you. A five minute tabata. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The first movement that you're going to do is, is the hollow body hold, right? So I'm gonna look at Carlos, he's gonna bring his knee off the ground about six inches, he's gonna bring his arms off the ground, he's gonna drive his belly button to the ground so he has a flat back. Shouldn't be able to reach my hand underneath to Carlos at all, which I'm not able to, so that's perfect position. He's gonna hold that for 20 seconds. On the 10 sec second transition, he's gonna flip over and do a large body hold, which is hands out in front, up, and his legs up off the ground, about six inches, squeezing his glutes, keeping his belly flat on the ground, okay? Keeping everything nice and tight. Okay, Carlos, you're gonna do that for five minutes. You're gonna go back and forth, so you're looking at five rounds of this, okay? Two rounds a minute, two, four, six, eight. So there's 10 sets of this, okay? So all you have to go ahead and find your spot. Karen, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to see you with your camera angle. That would be better. Cool. All right, let me set up the clock and we will get going here in about one minute. All right, here we go. This is going to be the Tabata, hollow body hold and arch body hold starting in 10. Go. You are on the clock. 20 seconds. And there's a version you can do. You can get your hands to the side. You can bring that knee up as long as your lower part of your back stays flat on the ground. I don't want a hole in that body. Holding and rest. 10 second rest. We're going to flip on over. Flip on over. Together, hands out in front. You want to get crazy? You can. <laughs> All right, Carlos, good job. <laughs> it looks like you're playing. Can you do like a yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, and rest. Roll over to the other side. About round number five, six. This is gonna be it. Go. Good. Set number two. Got the other button down to the ground. Carlos should be starting to wiggle a little bit. <laughs> that hollow body hold is perfect. I like it. Let's work and rest. Rotate. Now we're moving to the arch body hold. I hear, I hear Rena. She's breathing, she's breathing heavy already. And go. Superman position, making sure we squeeze the glutes. I'm not going to squeeze his glutes. Christina can do that, or you can squeeze his glutes by yourself. <laughs> you can try the stick, Bill. So you can just yeah, feel the firmness. Yes, <laughs> rotate. <laughs> Three, two, one, and go. I'll be able to put that uh, stick in between the cheeks. I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Carlos. Right, good work, sir. And rest, rotate.
skipping anything that you really need to use that core, getting into that hollow or arch body position. Rest, rotate. Woo! Carlos is starting to breathe now. He's warming up. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's thinking and go. He's thinking the Melanie yes. and Kyle for the uh, the Madsons for the uh, scones. Two more. You're on eight. Body hold is going to happen right now in three, two, go. Squeeze those. This workout. We're adding a dumbbell movement in there that we haven't really done very much. It is a dumbbell split snatch. So Carlos is going to demonstrate this as the dumbbell whip. That leg is the one that's going to split the back, right? So if you're using your right arm, that right leg is going to go back just like that dumbbell with the balance of the weight. This is what it's going to look like with the weight. You're going to get that big pull, right? That big shrug, big pull, and drive. Okay? And so what I really want to call Carlos to think about doing is catching that dumbbell fully extended with the arm. Okay? On that last one, he kind of caught it a little bit low and then had to press it out. Yep. Exactly. So the way to do that, depending on your load, is you have to split lower to make sure when you land, that arm is straight locked down overhead when you catch. Just like in a snatch, you want to catch that snatch or that clean or the jerk with straight arms, okay? You don't want to have a bend in the arms and then have to strip the rest that way. Okay? So it's going to be 10 of those with the right arm. Then you're going to transition to 10 no push-up burpees. You're welcome, Karen. 10 no push-up burpees. No push-up burpees is like this. You drop down into a plank, feet come back, Feet now come up to your hands and you stand up. You don't even need to jump. Extra credit. Carlos likes to like me on Friday, wants to do extra work. You can if you want, but you do not need to jump. It's just an up down, right? So again, Carlos' feet are going to come back and then we get in the plate. He's going to drive his feet up underneath his hands and stand up. He can just keep his hands to the side. It doesn't matter. Okay? That is an up down or a no push up or Once you're done with 10 of those, you're going to move to the dumbbell split statues again. You're going to use the other arm. So the first round is going to be with the right arm. The next set of 10 will be with the left arm. So it's going to be right statues. No push-up burpees. 10 right arm statues. Once we're done with that, we're going to finish the round with 10 box jump overs. So in the warm-up, we've got a warm-up arm jumping, right? Our hamstrings are glutes. Warm up our core in the hollow rock holds. So that's all going to help translate into this box jump that Carlos is going to do right now. Using his legs and his arms, and then what he looks like. He does not have to stand up at the top. He can stay low. He can do lateral ones if he wants. Whatever you feel most comfortable and most safe with, you can get over the box jump you want. You can also do step up the numbers. You don't have to step, you don't have to stand all the way up, but if you want to stand all the way up, it'll look like this. Stand all the way up, spin around, walk down. You can, you can spin around if you like, you can step down. If you're going to drop off the other side without spinning around, just be careful. Make sure you're getting up and down that box with safety in mind. Okay? Once you're done with that, you're going to go right back up to the top. We're going to do that for five rounds. 
or time or a 20 minute time cap. There is one option that you guys can also do is you can use the barbell, okay? It changes a little bit. The reps stay the same, but the movements change a little bit. If you're gonna use the barbell, your first 10 reps with the barbell are going to be power snatches. Carlos is gonna demonstrate that now. Big shrug and hold, and he's not going to go past parallel. So if he turns a little bit sideways, you see Carlos gonna keep that bar nice and close to his body, use that momentum to block up and catch in a power position. So Carlos, he's gonna do 10 power snatches, up downs, no push over burpees. Then he's going to do 10 squat snatches. This is where it changes. Now he's gonna do 10 squat snatches where he's gonna drive himself under the bar into a squat and then up. Right over to the box, do the box jumps, and that will be the end of his round if you're using a barbell. Okay. The time cap stays the same for the barbells, the rounds stay the same for the barbells, it's just the movement changes with the barbell. You're doing 10 power snatches and then 10 squat snatches. Okay. Any questions at home? Alright, guys, here's the, here is the workout for today. Five rounds per time. You're doing 10 single arm dumbbell split snatches, 10 no push up burpees or up downs. Then you're going to reverse, the first one's going to be with the right arm. And then the next one's going to be 10 single arm dumbbell split snatches with the opposite arm. And you're going to finish with 10 box jump holders. Okay? That's with the dumbbell. If you're using a bar, you're going to do 10 power snatches. And then the second 10, you're going to do 10 squat snatches with the other movements in between, okay? So if anybody has any questions, now's the time to ask. If not, let's get this show on the road. We're gonna start this workout in
catches. Same guys, we got 15 more minutes. Let's go. Five more on this side. 
side. Rena's crushing at home. Let's go. Let's keep it up. Thank you. 
squat, so it's a tendency to run, run a little bit forward, so it comes on his toes. Carl will just move his feet just a little bit more. He might land on his heels just a little bit. Let's see if he makes that little change here.
split snatches. About 90 seconds to go. 90 seconds, let's go, let's keep it up. Don't stop the time right here. Let's try to get through this complete round. Seconds left. 15 seconds left. I was going to grab that barbell and do a few more power snatches to end this workout for today. Get through the five rounds if you're using the barbell. 